Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another ApeCoin price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the ApeCoin chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We are also holding above a key area of support at around the 4.203 dollar mark. We have also fully maximized our minimum retracement area in the formation of this FB in a target area that lies between the 4.57 dollar mark and the 3.4307 dollar mark and i believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave c and before i get further into the technical analysis and also sketch out my target areas to the upside in the formation of this wave c first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after seeing our lower low at around the 2.5976 dollar mark we started this massive run up to the upper side of being the edit of structures in a move that gave us a peak at around the 6.42 dollar mark in what i'm terming as the wave a and after seeing the high for that wave a we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave b and using the fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the wave a to the high of that wave a that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave b between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.78 which is a target area that we fully maximized and after fully maximized maximizing our target areas to the lower side in the formation of this wave b whatever we expect next is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave c and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave c by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area in the formation of that wave c at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 9.6562 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that we've seen to the upper side to do and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that we've seen i'm also expecting to see a five wave structure in formation within the formation of that we've seen having the wave five fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high in that wave three to the upper side and that five wave structure to the upper side in the formation of that we've seen is what is going to give me the short term scenarios that i'm expecting to play out and that is better seen here on the one hour chart so jumping to the one hour chart here on the one hour chart you can see that i have these edit of structure right here in yellow which is a fractal wave within the formation of that we've seen to the upper side where we have picked in the formation of that wave one giving us a peak at around the 4.7 dollar mark then after seeing the high for that wave one we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two and using the fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave two between the fib level 0.5 and the fib level 0.618 which is a target area that we have fully maximized and I now believe that whatever we are seeing is the start of another impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 5.7806 dollar mark and that is what i'm expecting to see here on the ape coin chart on the short term scenarios i'm expecting that we are going to continue gearing up to fully maximize our target area at around the 5.7806 dollar mark in the formation of these wave three and once we pick in the formation of that wave three then we can expect a wave four then continue gearing up in the formation of these wave five to fully maximize our target areas at around the 9.6 dollar mark in the formation of that wave C to the upper side so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and for that move to also play out we need to continue holding above the 20 day ma's both on the one hour chart and also on the four hour chart we also need to continue holding above our key area of support at around the 4.203 dollar mark and the moment we continue holding above those key areas here on the charts then we have the support that we need for us to continue unlocking higher prices and also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 59 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices also taking a look at the mark do you have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated